Take a look at the tail of the tape for the first bout of the evening between Gamboa and Mtagua. Mtagua, 30 years of age, the height the same, the arm length, well, you got a one inch advantage for Mtagua. Here's the interesting aspect, Gamboa at 126 pounds, this fight is contracted for 126 pounds, Mtagua weighed in at just 122 and a half, and he told us during the fighter meetings, I eat what I eat when I want to eat, he obviously didn't eat a lot in order to get up to 126 pounds. That's not against the rules, as we welcome in Harold Letterman, our unofficial ringside score. We were giving you instructions both in Spanish and English. Entienden las reglas. Todo bien? Protect yourself at all times, respect the bell, and above all, protect yourself. Touch gloves, God bless you both. Tonight is supposed to set up a big little fight between Gamboa and Juan Outcome. Manuel Lopez, who you will see later tonight. Ready? Will Gamboa Tommy. come out of this okay, fight baby. with a more impressive win against Mtagua than Give Lopez did? Give or can Mtagua upset the apple cart by weathering the early storm? And we are underway. Mtagua throws out the first punch. Jab that's blocked by Gamboa. Hand speed, obviously, the edge to Gamboa. Tagwa says one of the things that hurt him early, good left hand by Gamboa in his fight against Lopez, that he had hurt his ankle two weeks before the fight. He says he's gotten in good work and gotten his run in every day. Because he'll get stronger as the fight goes on. Gamboa countered. If he thinks he'll get stronger, it's a mistake. I'll break him down. I don't think it's going to be a long fight. We'll see. Lennox, we're about a minute into the first round. Both guys seem pretty relaxed. Seem pretty relaxed. Gamboa is caught in Togba with a lot of punches and actually hurt him with that punch. Right and then the left hurt M. Togba. Suffered two knockout losses in, in his career back in 06 and 04. Gamboa has been on the canvas, although he's undefeated. Four times he's been down. Gamboa is you know at the upper limit of athleticism you can see in terms of the speed and the punching power and the reflexes he's in his physical prime he also has an incredible amateur pedigree um, but so far in his career the hole has been somewhat less than the sum of its parts here we see him in his last several fights fighting more discipline than he normally does and trying to fight as you mentioned lennox at the top of the show in a more professional style the thing what I noticed is a, a speed difference and a reflex difference in Gamboa. Gamboa is just catching him with certain punches where he can't, he can't even see it. And Togba is trying to catch him, but, you know, it's difficult to catch what you can't, can't find. And he can't find Gamboa right now. Lennox, that counter left hand from Gamboa is one of the punches that M. Togba just doesn't seem to be able to handle. There's a good left to the body by Gamboa. See the power punch has landed so far in the round according to the box. 12-3 in favor of Gamboa. Pretty definitive round for Yorkus Gamboa. And down goes Mkagwa. Four, putting an exclamation five, point on it. Six. And it's interesting. Seven, Every time Mtagwa right, tries to mount a punch, he gets hit because he's not seeing the punch come. And the punch is coming at a great speed and velocity. Was he more off balance than necessarily hurt there? He was a little bit off balance, but that was a good punch. According to the CompuBox numbers, Gamboa landed 14 of 29 power shots of his 15 connects. So if you're in the corner of Mtagwa, what do you do to stop the left hands and then the right from Gambo as he steps in? Left hand right to the face by Gamboa. Combination to the head. Chops a right hand. Break, 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 and Mtagwa ties him up. 
And Togwa Styles made for Gamboa because he's right there to be hit. The only question in this fight is can M. Togwa survive these moments early because he does really come on strong as the fight wears on. This well, fight may not be able to wear on if it continues to go like this. I know, different styles, different fights. This man, he hasn't even hit yet. And he's, and he's getting caught some powerful punches, some good hooks. Just a minute, 10 seconds into the round, Gamboa's landed 17 of 24 power shots, according to CompuBox. <laughs> Combination, tattoos, Mtagwa again. Mtagwa drops his hands after he throws a punch, and that's very dangerous for a man like this. Oh, like, left, this right. is what I'm telling you. Hurt him. He threw a combination, and his hands are down. And he's definitely hurt in this round. So whether he can weather the storm or not, this is a question. Good left hand to the body, right to the chin. Down goes Mtagwa. This is when Gamboa Six, really took his time seven, and he placed eight. his punches. One more time, come on now. And that's the result of it. Plenty of time in round two. Gamboa's too sharp right now. Target practice for the Cyclone of Guantanamo. Tagwa wings one right, walks into another left again. He's right. not seeing that left. And he did not react well to that left hook. He blinked and looked like he was in, like really hurt by the shot. Tagwa needs to hold on now. He's at a great stop. disadvantage right Good now. Good stoppage. Stop, Good stoppage no by referee Steve no Slover. No more, baby. No more. All right. And a sensational performance from Gamboa. Too sharp, too quick. Too powerful. Third time, Mtagwa has been stopped in his career. This is a situation where... Here's the first knockdown in round number two. Lennox left hand to the body, and then a left right to the chin and a right cross. That, that shows how fast he hit him with five punches and Motagua had his hand left hand out. Here's another look at it. One. It's fast and slow motion. Five punches, five punch combination. Unbelievable. And it was target practice for Gamboa. And here's a look at the stoppage. And he was hurt, you know, not only going down, but he had taken a left hand before that. And Gamboa was just able to tee off and pick him apart. And Steve Smoker did Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at 2 minutes and 35 seconds of round number two. The winner by knockout victory, still undefeated, the fighting pride of Guantanamo, Cuba. El Ciclone de Guantanamo, Yorkes Gamboa.